I see people using Claude code like a basic chat window. Type, wait, copy paste. But there are shortcuts and slash commands that literally change how you work. And I guarantee you're missing at least half of them. Let's fix that. Hey, Alex here from Grit AI Studio. Welcome back to another episode in our Mastering Claude Code series. Today, we're covering the essential keyboard shortcuts and quick commands that separate Claude Code beginners from power users. We will do separate deep dives on custom slash commands, subagents, hooks, and many more things in Claude Code in separate episodes. But let's start with the essential shortcuts and built-in commands. Let's go. Let's start with one of the key ones, modes. Shift tab cycles through our permission modes. Watch this. On the first press, accept edits mode. See that indicator at the bottom? Accept edits on. Now Claude can modify files without asking for every single file change. Second press, plan mode. Plan mode on. This is huge. Claude can now explore your code base, read files, search around, but he cannot change anything. Perfect for when you want Claude to analyze something without risk. The third time you press it, back to normal mode. Full control, permissions for everything. Use this actively. Speaking of plan mode and prompting, Control G will open your prompt in your system's default text editor. This is really useful when you're working on longer prompts or instructions, and you don't want to be dealing with the limitations of terminal line editing. A pro tip is to also run slash terminal setup and slash config to enable multi-line prompts in Claude Code. This allows you to type shift enter when writing prompts for new lines, but often it can be really handy to just hit control G and edit your prompt easily before saving and sending it off to Claude Code again. A less known feature is that you can also hit control G when working in plan mode. Control G also works when Claude asks you to review a plan in plan mode. It's super handy for adding more detail or tweaking the implementation strategy before Claude starts writing the code. Claude code will use whatever default text editor that you've set up in your editor or visual environment variable. As you can see in my case, that's cursor. Hitting the up or down key allows you to navigate through past prompts, even from previous sessions, which can be really handy. Control R lets you search through command history. So Control G can be useful, but if you want to learn the shortcuts for efficiently typing in the terminal, here are the specific ones for you when you're typing prompts in the terminal. Option and the arrow keys jumps through words, back and forth. Control A jumps to the beginning of the line, and Control E jumps to the end. Control W deletes a word, and Control U deletes the entire line. Control K deletes to the end. Oh, and tab, of course, auto-completes commands. Remember that Claude Code is multimodal. It can also see images or PDFs that we share with it. Control V or Command V pastes images directly into Claude Code. If you got a design mockup, paste it in. Error screenshot, paste it in. Or a diagram that you won't explain, paste it in. You can even draw on screenshots, circle something out, add an arrow, and paste that in. Change this part with a visual reference is way faster than describing it in text. Want to see what Claude is actually thinking? Control O toggles verbose mode. When you have extended thinking enabled, which you should for complex tasks, this shows Claude's internal reasoning. That gray italic text, that's the thinking process. Alt-T or Option-T on Mac toggles thinking mode. Previously, we had to type magic words like ultra-think, but now we can just press Option-T. You can type slash model to set the model, but you can also switch models with Alt-P or Option-P on Mac. Verbose mode is gold for debugging. If Claude makes a weird decision, check the thinking. You'll often see exactly where it went wrong. The at symbol is for direct file references. Explain the logic in 
This immediately includes the file content. No waiting for Claude to search. You're giving it exactly what you want it to look at. But here's the pro tip. At references also load ClaudeMD files that are in the directory and its parents. So if you have directory specific rules, they get pulled in automatically. Reference a directory like source components and you get a listing of what's inside. Quick way to show Claude the structure. If you want to drag in files for reference, instead of opening the content, simply hit shift while dragging a file into Claude code. Context is king. Make sure you manage it properly. Type slash clear between tasks and make this a habit. Slash clear gives you a fresh context window. When you switch features after debugging something, before starting something new, clear. Your context window is precious. Old context about authentication bugs doesn't help when you're building a new dashboard. I see a lot of people wondering why Claude starts giving weird answers. Often the reason is long chats and overfilled context windows. Remember to clear often and especially when starting something new. Here are five quick pro tips for you for built-in slash commands. One, slash vim. Puts Claude code into vim mode. If you're a vim user, alternating insert and command modes will feel natural. It's not my preference, but maybe it's for you. Two, slash context. This shows you a visual grid of your context usage. When it's getting full, you know it's time to summarize and clear. Number three, number three, slash resume or continue from command line to pick up previous conversations. Don't lose your work. It's really useful if Claude crashes or something happens in the middle of your session. Number four, slash bashes. Sometimes Claude spins up your dev server in a background job and sometimes you need to kill one to start another one and so on. You can always type slash bashes to get an overview of any background jobs and kill the ones you need to by hitting K. We have a whole video about managing context and rule files, so make sure you check that one out. Up until recently, we could use the hash key mid conversation to make Claude add something to memory. But recently, the changelog shows that they've now removed the hash key. Instead, we just tell Claude to add stuff to memory. Speaking of memories, you can at any time manage your memories with the slash memory command. And last tip, if you mistakenly sent off a prompt, or see Claude going off the rails and you want to stop it, you can at any time hit escape to cancel the current command. If you hit escape twice, you can jump back in history or to prior checkpoints. Similarly, you can use slash rewind to rewind a conversation. Here, you'll get a choice for what recent session you want to jump back to. Your code and context will be restored to that point, which is very handy. And lastly, you can at any time add more information additional requests to Claude, even while it's working. It will queue it up and Claude will take your prompts into account at the next opportunity. So keep feeding, no need to wait for Claude to complete what it's currently working on. And there you have it. Let's do a quick recap of some of the key ones. Shift tab cycles permission modes instantly. Control V paste images directly into Claude. Control O see Claude's thinking and use the at symbol to reference files directly. Slash clear, remember to use it frequently and especially between every task. These shortcuts compound. Use them for a week and you won't go back. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.